to the next group. Hi, I'm Jenny Woodall. This is Pet Friends and this is Lucy. She's my co-host. Over the years, I've taken millions of photographs of Lucy because she's my favorite subject. There you are, aren't you? As a matter of fact, Lucy's even had her photograph taken by a professional photographer. You're such a star. I have to say his photographs were better than the ones that I took. And I think that's because photographing animals is quite a knack. You have to have talent and you have to have patience too, don't you? Lionel Trudell has plenty of both. In his Vancouver studio, he specializes in producing photographs of people's pets. Pets are like photographing people. You can have a dog that's going to cooperate, and you can have a dog that just doesn't want to even give you the time of day. It's like making them work for you in order to make the photograph uh, a success and bringing out the good qualities in a dog and letting them do their thing, but usually only in one place. Because when you're photographing them, they tend to like to move around a lot and you, you have to use tools to make them sit. Throwing food to dogs is a fun thing because if you start throwing food, uh, you'll establish that they have to watch when you release that piece of food. So once you start throwing it at them, it's like taking a baseball and throwing it to someone or throwing them a coffee cup. They'll start to watch what you're doing and really focus on the little movement of your hand. That's a great way to get their attention. They'll focus in, they'll take a total bead on, on, the, uh, on the fingers that are throwing the food. I know when these people get their photographs back, they're going to look at the dog and go, this looks like, you know, some crazy canine super dog, and uh, it's their little Kelly, and the photographs are going to look great, but the dog's going to look all majestic and happy and, and uh, totally poised, and that's how it's done. That's when you see photographs in kennels and in uh, some of the breeder books. Yes, they're good dogs, but the photographer is enhancing their personality somewhat through some direction. While domestic pet photography is a big part of his business, he also photographs pets for advertising companies. He uses his dog Marlo for many of his shoots. Teamed up together, they're quite a pair. Pets sell products, selling everything from cereal to uh, milk to, to software that uh, pets get attention and they sell products. And if it sells, we're into uh, making a good image of it. I used to be an art photographer that would photograph landscapes and I'd make these great huge 40 inch photographs for the wall. I'd stand back and I'd cross my arms and I'd look and I'm like, okay, I'm done with that. And then I went, well, what am I going to do with this photograph now? I, I can sell it, I can display it, I can make a book. Uh, it didn't really have an application. Whereas with the dogs and the, the advertising photography, there's direct application. It may only be for one ad, it may only be for one month or a year, uh, but if the product is a viable product and the imagery looks good, then the photography is 100% use and 100% application. I've done my job and uh, I'm, I'm helping uh, generate attention to something that uh, people want to see. Technology has dramatically helped Lionel in his work. In dog photography, computers have changed it about 230%. What we were able to do before uh, computers was shoot 50 rolls of film of a dog during various day-long shoots in order to get the right choice cherry shot that we wanted. Now what we do is we photograph the dog in profile body, we photograph him head on, we photograph him going the other direction, uh, maybe from the back of his head. We can then clone, in a computer photographic format, clone different parts of the bodies to work independently and we can physically move around the body as if it had joints. It just means that we can shoot quickly, get the shot that we need as a pickup, and then just focus on features uh, like a head or a body part. People associate pets with good feelings. Unless, you know, you've had a neg negative experience with a dog. Uh, dogs are trustable. Dogs are trusting. They're unquestionable affection and love. 
They're symbols of obedience, they're symbols of reliability. It's kind of mass appeal, is that, is that it's an animal. It's uh, a focus or a feature of our domestic living is that dogs are part of it, man's best friend. And uh, it's a case that they're uh, very much entrenched in our culture.